Hi, my name is Angus. I'm a senior technician at uh, Nicholas B and Company. And I just want to show you some pre-touring tips on your Aston Martin DBS. First thing I'd like to show you is how to uh, check your oil. Um, the dipstick is just here. So just remove it. Give it, give it a wipe. On the bottom of the dipstick, you'll see a max and a min level. Okay, so just put it in, take it out and have a look. On this car, it's just on the max, which is fine. Okay, so if you do need to uh, top up your oil, all filler cap is here. Just remove it and top it up. The grade you'll need is 040. Okay, we recommend mobile, which our parts department is more than happy to supply if you require. Okay, next thing I want to show you is how to check your brake fluid and how to top it up. Very easy. Reservoir is just here. Remove the cap. Just have a quick look to see the colour of it. If it's quite brown, it probably needs replacing. If so, please uh, contact us and we'll be more than happy to help you with that. But uh, for level purposes, just give it a little shake. You can see a, a min and a max level on the side of it. Make sure you can see the fluid. Take a note where it is and top it up if necessary. If you do need to top it up, uh, use DOT4 reactive brake fluid, which again, our parts department can supply if you require. Okay, next thing is your windscreen washer level. Uh, the bottle is just here. Just remove the cap and just top it up here. You can either um, buy pre-mixed washer fluid um, or you can mix it yourself. Just uh, probably 50-50 depending on how cold it is. Okay. And then uh, once you've done that, just uh, refit the cap. Okay, um, next thing I want to show you is uh, power steering fluid level. Is, this is the reservoir bottle here. You wouldn't normally need to check it, um, but if you do feel you'd like to check it in between servicing, um, just unscrew the cap. You'll notice the dipstick on the other end, you have a min and a max level, and just, just make sure it's roughly in between the two, okay? Don't overfill it. All right, so just wipe it, screw it down, and then just check. This car is fine. Okay, next thing, coolant level. Uh, your coolant reservoir bottle is just here, so carefully unscrew the, uh, the cap. Please make sure you do this when it's cold. Okay, remove the cap. Have a look inside. You want to make sure the coolant level is roughly below the neck, maybe about an inch. Um, if you do need to top it up, you want to use red antifreeze, um, roughly a 50 50 mix. Okay, and then once you've done that, just re screw the cap back on, making sure it's nice and tight, but don't over tighten it. Next tyre pressures. Here's your tyre valve. Remove the cap. On this particular vehicle, you're going to be adjusting it to 36 psi, 38 psi rear. But please refer to your owner's manual for the correct tyre pressures for your vehicle. Next, I want to just want to mention about tyre tread and depth. Make sure the tread and depth are even right across the tyre. Make sure your tyres are legal before you set off. Aston Martin New Era vehicles aren't fitted with a spare wheel. So in case you have a puncture, you will we'll, uh, probably need a tyre inflation kit, which is located in the boot here. Okay. Instructions of how to use it, right at the front. Okay. Power socket to power the pump or the inflation kit is just in the same place here on the right hand side. Um, and one last thing, whilst you're in the boot, Make sure if you have lock and lock tools that the actual key is in the boot or with you within the car. Windscreen wipers, just make sure your wipers are in good working order. Just lift the arm slightly or gently off the, off the screen. Run your fingers across the blade, make sure there's no splits or any debris. If you do need cleaning, just use a tissue and maybe a bit of vinegar just to take the grease off the blade and put the blade back on the screen. Finally, um, do please make sure that all your lights are in good working order before you set off in your 
at all. Your Aston Martin will be supplied to you with an owner's manual. All the information that we've uh, talked about today will be within it and more information. If you don't happen to have an owner's manual, please contact our uh, parts department and I'll be more than happy to help you. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you do need a more comprehensive health check on your vehicle or even a service, please contact our service department who will be more than happy to help you. Thank you.